You know what I've noticed? Most people who get into bug bounty hunting absolutely suck at it in the beginning. It's not because they're dumb or lazy. It is actually because they're approaching it the wrong way. I've been doing a lot of mentorship calls, some paid, but honestly, mostly free. And I keep hearing the same patterns over and over again. If you're struggling with bug bounty hunting right now, chances are you're making one of these mistakes too. By the way, if this hits home, all you got to do is drop a comment saying I relate and I guarantee you, you're not the only one. Let's start with the biggest one. No goal. What are you actually trying to achieve here? Are you just trying to have fun? Are you trying to build enough experience to land the job? Or are you going all in to try to become a bug bounty hunter full time? If you don't know your goal, you're going to waste a lot of time chasing the wrong things. If you watch a lot of my videos, you already know that I'm a huge advocate for actually writing down your goals and breaking them into smaller steps. For example, let's say your goal is to find your first XSS. Then your job becomes learning everything about XSS, where they happen, the different flavors like reflected, stored, blind, and all the little tricks to bypass WAFs and filters. Once you've studied that, then you get to hunting. Or maybe your goal is to make $5,000. Cool. Then find a program that pays decently. Let's say 500 for a medium. That means if you can land five mediums and sprinkle a couple of highs and lows, you're already hitting your goal. It gives you a target to work towards instead of just running around aimlessly. And yeah, I know it sounds cliche, but write it down. I literally keep most of my goals on a whiteboard right in front of my desk. And that way, every day I sit down, I'm reminded of exactly what I'm working towards. A goal written down is a map not just a wish. Let's move on to the next mistake. And this is one I will die on a hill for program selection. Most beginners pick programs totally at random or worse, they jump straight into paid bug bounty programs before they even know how they like to hunt. That is a huge mistake. If you're just starting out, I highly recommend going after the VDP or a Vuln Disclosure program. That's where you can build your own methodology. You need to learn how to look for XSS, SSRF, and IDORs. You need enough experience that you start developing that gut feeling, that little tingle when you know there is probably a bug hiding somewhere. And that only comes with reps. And of course, when you've gotten that experience, you can go for a large program. And when I say large, I don't mean massive scope. I just mean something with either a lot of functionality or something wide with tons of subdomains and little apps spread across them. And if you want specific recommendations for VDPs, check out Ford, GM, IBM. And if you're ready for paid bug bounty programs, I have seen a lot of people on my Discord crush it with Epic Games and Netflix. I'm talking about first bounties being at 5, 10, or even 20K, which is insane. I'm Luis. I got my first bounty after I started going to the Nihum Sex Discord. And I ended up getting the 25k from Netflix as my first bounty. And honestly, when it comes down to program selection, if you don't want to go with something wide, find a program that you like, whether you like the product, you like the company, or you want to brag about hacking them. There needs to be a little bit of passion when you select these companies that you want to hack on. My goal when I first started hacking was I wanted to hack companies that I could get a job at. So I picked very specific companies that I could hack on, put them on my resume, and then ship that resume and say, I have hacked your company and will you hire me? Another mistake I see all the time is people reporting stuff with no real impact. I will ask them, what what kind of bugs are you finding? And most of the time I hear things like missing headers, outdated versions, leaked API keys, where they're not sure how to use. And look, those things are super cool to notice, but if you can't explain what harm it causes to the users or that company's infrastructure, it's not worth reporting. That is just noise. And I get it. A lot of folks come from a pen test background or they're relying on a lot of automated tools, but bug bounty is different. You have to always ask yourself, what can I actually do with this vulnerability? And if you can't answer that question, don't file that report. And then there is the duplicates and informatives. And I cannot tell you how many people tell me their reports keep getting marked as informative or they're just hitting dupes. And when I dig deeper, it turns out they're using the same tools in the exact same way as everybody else. Here's the truth. If you're early on, you don't need to be running nuclei or copy pasting templates. You need to actually learn the basic web vulnerabilities and master them. Once you've understood the fundamentals, then you can build your own custom templates that match your own style and methodology. At the end of the day, the best approach is consistency. Bug bounty is like a video game. The more you play, the better your aim gets, the better you understand the maps, and the more XP, or in this case, bounties you rack up. And trust me, it's way easier if you're not doing it alone. I was lucky to have a few friends who were just as serious about hacking as I was when I first got started. That changed everything. So join a Discord, hack on the same targets, share your notes, seeing how someone else approached the same bug can completely change how you think.
And if you're looking for a Discord, come in Discord. I'm going to send you an invite to my public and free Discord that you can join and hack with people that are on there. So yeah, if you feel like you've been sucking at bug hunting, chances are it's one of these things holding you back. And let me know which one of these are you guilty of? Drop a comment, let me know. And if you want me to make a video about how I personally got started, just type in, tell us in the comments and I'll make that in the upcoming weeks. All right, that's it. I will see you all in next week's video. Peace.